G'day guys, I'm Peter Kafkas. And I'm Peter Gowers. This is iProperty NT TV. TV Hello. August update. August 2018 update. It is. It is. What's been happening, Pete? Well, it's been busy. Yes. That's what I would say. There's a lot of activity. Yes. Which is the reason why we're a little late this month with the update. A lot happening. A lot happening. Yes. Now, that was an interesting article that uh, you sent across the other, the other day. Yeah, so um, it, it came via our friends, uh, I guess, at realestate.com.au. Or, and in, or news.com.au, yeah? Yep. Yeah. And uh, it's about the suburbs in Australia which are dead and buried, yes. of which 10 are listed in the Northern Territory. Yes, now 10 suburbs to avoid in the Northern Territory. I think the article is 66 total suburbs yeah. to avoid around Australia. Yeah, so we, we, we score fairly high in that regard. <laughs> yeah, so we just wanted to let you know what our friends have written at news.com.au. Um, in the Northern Territory, we would like you to avoid... Let's talk about the Palmerston suburbs first. Yeah, so... That, okay. Yeah. yeah. You go first. All right. So we've got Bellamac. Jurak, Johnston, and Zakoli. So the frightening thing there for me is that since we've had this uh, boom, we'll call it, mm. started in around 2003, mm -hmm. um, a lot of those, or well, those suburbs, yes. uh, amongst others, are one particular pocket that has been produced since this whole release land, release yep. land, release yep. land thing yep. happened. Mm -hmm. That concerns me because, look, I'm not an economist, so I'm not coming at it from that angle, but there was a lot of talk uh, at the time of this is too much land, the government's got trigger happy, and mm. that seems to me to be um, confirming those facts. Yeah, right, yep. There's, yep. You know, the fact that Johnston, Zicoli, Bellamac which kind of are all interlinked, with the exception of Bellamac a little bit, <laughs> but they're in that new push. Yep. And then Muirhead on top of that, mm. which is completely removed, that concerns me. Yeah. Look guys, markets are gonna be markets. They're gonna go up, they're gonna go down, uh, and you're just gonna be smart in where you invest. Yeah, exactly. And the thing about that is, I don't look at that and go, oh God, if you bought in Zicoli five years ago, you're Run finished. for the hills, game over. Not at all. Markets come back. That's right. But if you don't need to sell right now, um, it's best to hold. Yeah. Just, just hold for a while. Um, the market will sort itself out. It'll come back. I don't know if the population's going to increase. That's, you know. Yes. Probably. We need our population to increase. That would help. Well, if you've got empty properties, that's the, that's the mm. one thing that will help to, mm. to fix that. Um, but the way it is at the moment, it's going the other way. Yeah. You know, we do have uh, a decline in business activity. Um, as a result, less jobs, less people need to be here, basically. Well, let me read out some of the other suburbs. Please. Yes. So, in other suburbs, Darwin City, Catherine, Larrakia, Muirhead, Parap, and, oh, back to Palmerston, I forgot Roseberry. But, uh, yeah, uh, Parap as well. So Larrakia and, and Parap both surprise me, um, but they're, they're based on something. On something. They've come up with... Something. Whether it's clearance rates, whether it's the average price places are selling for, um, they've come up with a reason for listing those two suburbs. Can't imagine Parap and Larrakia are going to be in the doldrums for too long. No. But again, I guess it's... Um, indicative of the market yeah and yeah. perhaps that means more people in Larrakia and Parap have have got the financial wherewithal to hold Therefore, or there's not as many selling or possibly it could have been three months of super activity few sales and then then the following two months was super quiet and then it's causing stats to come out like that yeah exactly I mean I, I don't see fluctuation I don't see those stats. two suburbs as being long-term problems I think that the little pocket in uh, Palmerston is potentially mm. an issue mm. beyond the sort of normal life cycle and, and possibly Muirhead because it was always an issue of contention, mm. the block sizes and, you know, naturally smaller block sizes bring 
less room yep. you know, to state the bleeding obvious, but it, it brings other concerns as well. When there's bigger blocks available in other areas yep. at, uh, at much cheaper prices at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, th- that's a little August uh, little update if you like. Now, Pete, the Territory's new slogan. <laughs> the Territory. Yeah, so we talked about this previously. Um, and we talked about the fact that it's endlessly frustrating the fact that government feels the need to go outside the territory to get people to help us to rebrand. The territory. Yeah. Um, really? How much do we pay for a new font? Because that's all I'm seeing. Yeah. A- and we've, so we've got a new font. And in addition to that, we've got a slogan that makes utterly no sense whatsoever. I, don't, I can't remember it. It's that terrible. <laughs> no, so the, the font is... It is the territory. The font is the territory. Boundless possible. Yeah, and that's not me speaking correctly. No, well it is. Oh, but yeah, it's okay, you quoting. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, honestly, I just I shook my head in dismay. Um, the the font itself is a series of squiggly lines. Maybe it's. I don't know, a road map. What's a river? Of some description. Yeah, river. Okay, that makes sense. But what does it really mean? And I saw the 90 second promo video, which again, God knows how much that cost. Mm, mm. And I thought to myself, that's wonderful to see all these different people of different colours and genders all playing wonderfully together. Um, Come to Stuart Park Shops with me and tell me how it works. Come to half of Palmerston with me and tell me how that's all... Mm. It's it's mm. not reality. Yeah. It's just a, a grandstand, 30,000 foot elevator view of life in the Territory, which doesn't really exist. There it is. You really can't get it more uh, honest than that, and that's what we're about. We're about giving you content that's raw and honest. Listen, I'd be just as honest if it was good. Yeah, so, absolutely. You know, I, I, I watched the video, I looked at the font, I looked at the boundless possible, and I went, I don't get it. Mm. And apparently, there's, it's a three-phase rollout. Okay. And this is the inbound. This is the territory yeah, version. Okay. So we're meant to um, take this and we're meant to run with it. Well, oh. I don't know what I'm running with because there's not much there. Well, let's end on a positive note. <laughs> on a positive note, it's purple. It is perfect. There you so, go. You they, got that one right. Well they definitely done. figured out that our property NT needs to be involved somehow. Yeah. And, and <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening to our... I'm hoping we didn't ramble on too much crap. Perfect. Our August update. I'm Peter Kafkas. And I'm Peter Gowers. We are iProperty NT. And this is iProperty NT TV. Catch you next time. <laughs>